Weaver. Mm -hmm. Weaver's side of the map. We can see a fight ongoing at the moment. Gonna go for it. That is the storm. Not all that is gonna be the first blood from the side of Yab Esports with an answer in here coming from both the Yasuo as well as Gambit for to enable execration in doing that. So, meantime, for the side of Yab Esports, pretty much the same. But for the meantime, let's talk about the fight that's happening to the law. The explosive cast that needs to just throw away all the members of execration. But meantime, though, look at that Valkyrie, the special delivery coming from that Gambit, gonna be providing more kills and more advantage for the side of Yab Esports now. I said in here, gonna be in the game. Yeah. They're gonna love the confidence coming for execration. They know that they can take over. And just like that, that is the end of the map for the members of Liam Esports. Now two members are left. They definitely can not do anything unless maybe Nixu will be able to go for an explosive pass onto this Baron, but he doesn't have his ultimate available. Exosen does have it anyway. But I do believe that for as long as they will be able to pick up four targets, but look at that two steps that's gonna do much more. in here there is the chase but that is some good buy time that is happening not allowing execration to go for a barren take so now I mean, your package is about to expire anyway might as well use it because you don't know where the rest of execration is yeah for sure and in here we can see the team fight happening already lots of concessions for the side of the op esports nearby the drake will there be oh look at the sun connecting just properly first one and go on to the core team they will be securing that cloud dragon as Esports, but Miggy in here will be punished by the Orianna. We can see a lot of exchange of hits, but this is so far a one for one trade. And not yet even done. Oh, the Kaisa again is just free hitting from the back line. He's on the run. Coming from Exo set as well, allowing and saving the life of Yeah, the potential dive in here onto the bottom lane part of the map. I don't think the dead and able be able to go into somewhere safe in here. Even you're under the turret. So still red up. relatively short. The dead is going to target. I think the body slum did not connect, but I think that's why. Oh, look at this strong wave connected to a lot of members. But quite fortunately, Oriana was already super low. Going to get cancelled as well at the last second. And then, 5v5, but Dragon Fight. Dragon Fight is dead. The red team is going to be securing that one. But we can see right the boys are low on HP as of the moment. And, whoa, look at that. And high step ultimatum. I think that has connected onto Migi. The Gragas will die on the hand of the Olaf and more folks coming in from the members of Execration. Potential still onto the Baron? That is the question. Unfortunately not, but they're gonna go try to go for a punish. You can see the killer and stick connecting onto the members of Execration as well. But Gambit was super all alone. But I think Gambit should have focus and try to go for an assist as to where Nixo was. The rest of the members of the Esports was here. The connection was there onto the Corgi as well as the Garen as well as the Gragas, or the Brom rather, too. But they don't have a damage dealer from the back. The buff, at least, for x oh. Do not use it. Mm -hmm. In here, we can see that Tonsai, oh, that is actually not able to make use of his x This is now a problem. Oh, friendly, though, Gambit could go for an early killer and stay. He's gonna try to go for a chase, but the stasis was available. And now, we can see two members left. On the side of Execration, there is a chase onto Dadene, that's Oriana, but I think that was just a way for him to buy time too. While well, the rest of the members of Yap is for going for a turret take in the middle lane, Dadene will fall down. The Supremo all left the line. Is this gonna be it for the Yap Esports? Are we gonna go for a 1 1 score this time? Will Supremo be able to do anything at all into this fight or onto this push that the Yap Esports Yes, and they teleport full. No chance, and yes, and this is gonna be a one-one score between Execration and the Abyss Initiate, waiting for the dragon to go somewhere near Half-Life. And now, and this is what we talk about. Now, who's gonna get the last hit onto the dragon? Now, they focus on to taking down the champions first. That oh, that was a messy initiate or a counter uh, counter objective, or rather a counter contest by Execration. I was back thinking line, the back line of the Ab. They can just reposition with the Valkyrie. Did that hit? Mm -hmm. Oh no! Whoa. But why did he come back onto that position? I guess he would want to go for a turret. Her ice and to still scale up, but another fight happened. 
Mm, apparently, yes, another fight happens in here, but apparently, too, the Wukong is quite in a dangerous spot. Gonna get the body slam coming from the Kragas, readying that explosive, not explosive gas, but that damage as well. Coming about some more damage. Look at the spot. So, all the laser pressure, you can see all those purple minions and even super minions down one part of the map. Whoa! Gas has been gas. That uh, making that strong position or in dangerous position. We can see Tante in here locking in the target as well. But the members of Team Leon Esports are just fighting the members of Execration. There is a chase onto the Kai'Sa, but I don't think that Kai'Sa Nexus is open. And the buff is still in here. I guess this is gonna be a 2-1 score in favor of Leon Esports. I'm holding it already even the Nexus is still up, but this is fight obvious already. I mean, this is, this is game. This is game indeed. We have these sports ending the match 2-1 against Execration.